Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on The Bug Collector by Hayley Hendrix. Uh, someone's requested this a hundred million times, so I thought I'd finally do it for them. Uh, it's a beautiful little song. I'm going to do it in standard tuning with a capo. Um, I think she uses some slightly different tuning, but I've done it in standard tuning. It's the same notes. It sounds cool. I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, uh, leave me some comments in the comment section as well. Just say hi if you want to say hi. It helps the video get some views. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Like I say, my guitar's in standard tuning and I've got a capo on fret number three. Okay, the song starts with an intro. Um, it's four bars uh, and it repeats and it sounds like this. So to play that, we're gonna start with the third finger on the A7, first finger on D5. And you play the A7, then the G string, and then the D5, and then the B string. So I'm using thumb, finger, thumb, finger on the right hand. So it does that twice. Then move down a fret to A6 and D4, same right hand. So the first bar, bar one goes. Into bar two and we move down another fret, so A5 and D3, same right hand. And there's only two beats in that bar, so it's a bar of two, four, so it goes. That's the whole bar. So bars one and two together go. And up speed. Into bar three, and we've got this. So for that, my third finger is going on A3, my first finger on D2, and I'm gonna be using my second finger to hammer on to the G2. So, beginning in bar three, I play the A3, and then the D2 and the open G string, then hammer on to G2, Play the A3 again, then the B string, and then D2. So, so far you've got. And then you're gonna play the A3 and the G2 at the same time. Then open B, then D2, B, A3, and then D2. So bar three slowly goes. Bar four starts the same. But then on beat four it just changes slightly, it plays the A3, B, D2, and then B. So bar four slowly. Bars three and four, put them together, then this is quite tricky, goes. So the whole line slowly goes. And up speed. Okay, and that line repeats, so you play it twice through. So that's the intro. That takes us to the verse. Now it's exactly the same as what we've just played. Um, there's just a couple of little bits that make it slightly easier. In the first bar, it just plays the A7, D5, and then plays the same right hand that we were doing. So the beginning of bar five goes. And the rest of the bar's the same. Into the next bar, again, we play the A5, D3, and then that same pattern. So it's slightly different. So let me play bars five and six before you go. And 
And then bars um, seven and eight are the same as what we had bars three and four in the previous line. So the whole of that line of the verse goes. And that repeats as well. So you play it twice through. We then go on to the chorus, which sounds like this. So to play that, start off with a hammer on with your first finger from A3 to A5. Then use your second finger on D4. Open G string. Then the A5 again. B, the D4, and then the G string. So the first half of that bar goes. Then you're gonna play the A5 and the B string at the same time. D4, G, A5, then B, D4, and then G. So that bar nine goes. A little bit strange that bar. Then into the next bar, you keep in the same position and play the A5, the D4 and the B string at the same time, then the A5, B, D4, and then G. So you've got then A5, D4, A5, open G, and then you're gonna play fret two on the D string. So bar number 10 goes. Then into bar 11, and we're gonna put our third finger A3, first finger on D2. And you play the A3, D2, then B, A3, G, then D2, and then B. So you've got then A3, D2, B, a3, G, D2, and then B. So the whole of bar 11 goes. Into bar 12, and we play the A3 and the G at the same time. The D2, then use your second finger on G2, A3. Take the finger off and play the open G with D2. So you've got Then another A3 with G, D2, B, A3, and then D and uh, D2 and G on the end. So bar 12. So the whole line slowly goes, of the chorus goes. speed. Okay, and then uh, that line repeats through the chorus. We then go on to an, an instrumental, which is two lines long. The first line goes like this. So for that, I'm using my little finger on E3, third finger on A3, first finger on D2, and we play the A3 and the E3, E3 nearest to the floor at the same time, then D2, A3, G, D2, so you've got. We then take the little finger off and put your second finger on E2, and it's the same kind of right hand, so you play the A3 and E2, D2, A3, G, and then D2. So, so the whole of bar 13 goes. Then open E string with A3, D2, 
then E2, A3, and then D with the open E string. So you got then A3 and B, D2, A3 and G, and then D2. So bar 14 goes. And then bar number 15 is the same as bar 13, so the same as the first bar of that line. So. And then bar 16, there's only two beats in it. We play the A3 and E, D2, E2, A3, and then D2 with the B. So, so the whole of that line, slowly, you've got... It then jumps straight onto this next line, which is similar to what we've done in um, the chorus. So we've got... Um, so that is almost identical to what we played in the uh, chorus. So hopefully that should make sense. Um, and then... Again, this is all based around the same kind of idea. So A5, so we're in bar 19 now. So A5, D4, and the B. A5, G, D4. So you got... Then open B string with A5, D4, G, A5, B, D4, and then uh, G. So bar 19. Bar, bar 20 is the same. So the whole of that line goes. Um, and then, so that's the end of the instrumental. It then goes back to the verse and then plays chorus and then does the instrumental um, and then to the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar, especially the person who requested it a million times. Thanks for the request. If you have enjoyed this and found it useful, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. That helps hopefully get some more views, um, as does leaving me a comment. So just say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support my channel, keep me going, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also on there, I've got my new uh, music theory course for guitarists, so you can check that out as well. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.